Jeremiah. Yes, my lord. This year is funny. This year is funny. This year is funny. Yes, my lord. No, you are I'm not the investigating officer. The matter was be initially being investigated by OCS the Luka police station. Where the matter was going. Yes, my lord. Yes, my lord. What I have from Inuka is the signal of uh, which we send to all the police stations and posts from the OCS. It's just the signal. That is what I have. But you also have the, the occurrence report from the white delivery. Yes, I have it. At Inuka. At Inuka, it is there. You know the officer who received that report? No, my lord. Hmm? No, I don't know who received that report at the local police station. You don't know. I don't know. You don't know the report, the officer who received that report about a Kenyan who has never been seen for the last one year. What I saw in the OB is the report. I don't know who took the report. As long as you don't know that report. I don't know. That's what you are, you are telling the guy. You do not know. Do you yes. care that you don't know? That is the moment that you don't know who received the report or disappeared again a year later. The report is in the. It was made at Luka police station. Yes, and I'm asking, yes. do you know who made that? Who received that report? The officer who received that report? I was not there during the time when the report was made. So I'm asking, does it bother you that you, you stand before the judge and you're telling the judge you do not know the officer who received this report? Yes, it is good to talk the truth. I don't know who received that report. Did the OCS the Luka police station send any officer to the home of this disappeared area to cross check the report in the room? I'm Has not any aware. police officer visited the home of Bakari or not? I'm not aware. You're not aware? I'm not aware. When did you last come to the OCS the Luka police station? The horses was by then has since been transferred. I so that question. When did you come to the Luka police station for some of these cases? I can't recall the exact uh, date. Have you ever called the Luka police station for some of these cases? Anyway. Yes. At one point I talked with the horses in Luka, but I cannot recall. It was it's a long time. Have 
you born yourself. The home of this lady, Sarita Oma, who has not seen her husband for the last one year. I have not gone there. We have been making efforts, but uh, there is no cooperation in the way we can I be shown. Have because you never gone there? No. I do not tell the judge that the police are not aware of what they did at home. They get away from us from completely it. We are not aware. Nobody from the police has gone there, is there? Mm, I don't know. Did you read the report that she made at the local police station? Yes. She says they went away with her husband and the telephone number and the telephone with her husband. Her mobile number, his mobile number and the phone was taken. Correct? Yes. They also went away with a mobile phone. Is there a hobby? It is in the hobby. Was any investigation done using those details of the phone numbers to locate where Makari's phone was? I've said I'm not the investigation officer, so I'm not aware. Is it possible that you? We stand you down. You will get us any investigation file. The court will decide. So you don't know whether those numbers were ever investigated? I'm not aware. Would you want to give the time? Would you want to find out whether there is a report? Whether? Whether there is a report. About the investigation of the phone numbers, of the home of my mother, for example, whether in fact it was broken in, whether it was an answer, as they say. Given time. Given time. Given time. You know, like the, the interest of justice. Mm -hmm. I think for us, we usually have this request, given for time. He at least investigates the mobile phone numbers. He comes and tells us where, at what point were they switched off? At where were they? What were their geolocations? Surely. The life of our Kenyan citizen is at stake in this. So since the witness has said, given time, we will try and get uh, some of the information I'm asking him about. I would pray that you stand with them and go to that for the investigations. And the next step is that the more we should do this for the least bit. Particularly, let him come and tell us at what point were in this calls stop work. So during cross examination of uh, you said it's Coplo, eh? Yes, during cross examination of Copro Levin Nyamai by Mr. Bugwa Morithi, it emerged that crucial aspects touching on the investigation of the alleged disappearance of the victim Bakari Mwanyota Mbwana may not have been uh, may not have been covered. Consequently, Mr. Mbugwa requested that the witness be stood down so that he can gather uh, more information, particularly touching on the victim's mobile phones to try to ascertain the co coordinates, whether it was in use, the communication, if any, prior to and after the disappearance, and at all, at what point it was switched off. So a trial is essentially an exercise of establishing the truth. So the, the evidence sought may assist the court to establish the truth. So any evidence sought 
which may assist the court to establish the truth is welcome. So long as it meets the tests of admissibility, credibility, and reliability. It's also important to mention that the purpose of cross-examination is, is not only to challenge the opponent's evidence, but also, and also to discredit it. It can also be used to build up the other side's case, it can also be used to dig out more inform information, in fact, as much information as possible to build on one's case. So it follows that the request sort falls within the ambit of cross-examination. It's not much wider, I'm trying to shorten it, falls within the ambit of cross-examination. So after, after all, cases are de decided on evidence, and the litmus, litmus test each case must pass is really evidence. So also important is to underscore that the right to adduce and challenge evidence is also provided for and Article 50 of the Constitution. And also the opportunity for each party to present his case the best way he knows. I normally say a litigant has the right to put his best foot forward at all times. So accordingly, I will allow the request, of course I've noted it's not opposed also, I'll allow the request, the witness shall be stood down uh, then you are going to undertake further investigations or investigations, assuming they were not done. You shall report on the aspects touching on the coordinates, that is where the phone, whether the phone was being used, relating to the alleged, no, you, you are supposed to, to file a report touching on the circumstances relating to the alleged disappearance of the said victim, and in particular, uh, look at the mobile phone communications, possibly prior or after that uh, disappearance, whether it was in use, the two telephone numbers 0725-913194 and 0741-738661, it included the coordinates and ascertain the time or at what point the phones were switched off. We shall re you shall report back to this court when you come for further cross-examination, that will be on yeah, that one may be okay. I believe it's September, eh?